Hey guys, it's Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've seen any of my previous videos, welcome back. It has been a solid month since I made a video. I'm really sorry about that, but as you can tell by the title, this is basically going to be my this is for all my criminal justice people out there. So if you are interested in hearing about how my junior year went, the grades that I got, the classes that I took, and what classes I'll be taking next semester in my senior year, when I plan on graduating, the credits that I still need, and what I'm thinking about doing after I graduate, please just keep watching this video. I get this question a lot when people ask me about school and it's where do I go to school. I go to a public four-year university. It's called the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. I'm currently going for my undergrad in criminal justice. And yeah, I just finished my junior year like a couple of weeks ago. I've just been working since, but it actually ended up going really well. Um, I took, hold on, I, I have my grades up right here. So I'm just gonna look at what they ended up being. Go. So at the end of the spring 2018 semester, I ended with a, a 3.74 GPA for the semester. I took a women and criminal justice class. I got a B in that. I had to take econ for one of the scholarships that I was getting. Um, I got an A minus in that. Family and sex roles in the past, I got an A. Sociology of deviant behavior, I got an A. And then my intro to women and gender studies class, I also got an A. So um, and basically this past year, I kind of discovered what direction I wanted to take with school. And I decided that I wanted to put to use the amount of credits I have um, and at my school, like you can double major, you can minor in things that like complement your major. Um, so I decided to minor in sociology because I've already taken like three sociology classes and I would only need like three or four more to get the minor, which would look really good. And then obviously I'm going to minor in women and gender studies because that was like my favorite class, my favorite subject. So with that being said, I have three semesters left so like, I will be graduating next year in the fall of 2019 which is so insane to think about I can't believe that I have about 40 ish credits left until I reach the amount that I need to graduate I'm gonna tell you guys the classes that I'm enrolled in next semester Pause. okay so I'm enrolled in okay so I'm enrolled in five classes next semester and those five are Women and Gender Studies 410, which is Feminist Theory, Sociology 375, which is History of Sociological Theory, um, I'm in a Criminal Justice Seminar, another Criminal Justice Methods of Social Welfare Research class, and then Criminal Justice 510, which is Introduction to Crime Analysis. So basically, these next three semesters, I'm just going to be wrapping up. I'm done with all my gen eds, finally. Finally. I will finally be going to school for what I went to school for. <laughs> wrapping up all my criminal justice courses and getting my two minors that I decided to get. And I'm really excited about those minors because I feel like I'm going in the right direction with my life because those are all things I really care about. I really care about sociology. I really care about women's and gender studies, of course. Um, I do care about criminal justice and that basically brings me to what is in store for me because I have said a million times I have no idea what I want to do and I still am not set um, in the next year and a half i would like to get an internship somewhere just to get some experience unpaid paid it doesn't matter just or start volunteering or do something in like the department of justice in my area to get involved and get my foot in the door kind of because i don't know for sure what i want to do as for careers i've been looking into it's gonna shock a lot of you if you've seen any of my other videos i'm considering becoming a cop because I'm interested in being a detective. I'm interested in trying to better the field, like not being one of the cops that I, or not making the system worse. Like I feel like if I get into it and I make it better, that would just be better for me. Um, so yeah, I'm considering being a cop, still considering the whole parole officer, probation officer, case manager thing to help people who rehabilitate, but I am growing more interested in helping in women and children too, as well as the mentally ill, which I've mentioned is really important to me before too. So I still am not set 100%, I mean, Becoming a police officer would definitely be for sure option for me to do I would have to go to the police academy and do all that stuff um, to do that um, So for this next year and a half, I'm just gonna spend time really Trying to dig deep within myself and see what I want to do try to get internship opportunities Try to expand my networks get to know people that can help me get jobs and reach out to my professors and stuff like that So yeah, that is pretty much it. I probably won't be making another criminal justice video until school starts again, but 
for everyone that's interested and everyone that's been watching my criminal justice videos they're both almost at 5k views right now which is insane to me thank you so much if you even clicked on those i just wanted to kind of give you guys a wrap up of how my year ended my grades the classes i took the classes i'm going to be taking if you ever have any questions about anything criminal justice related school related any of that stuff just message me um you can go to my instagram twitter uh, you can comment on here. I respond back to every single comment about school and I really just want to help. That's the main reason I make these criminal justice videos is just to help anybody in a similar major, in a similar position that's just trying to figure out what they want to do because it's hard. Going to college is hard and figuring out what you want to do with your life is really hard. Um, I'm just dealing with that right now. If there's any way I can help, I want to do that. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. I would really appreciate it. And please leave a comment on something that you liked, something that you think I could work on for the next time. I always love the feedback. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video.